Hello and welcome to You So You. My name's Zoe and this is my channel all about the crafty bits and pieces I get up to. I knit, I sew, I spin on a drop spindle, I dabble in weaving and bead weaving and all sorts of things, whatever takes my crafty fancy really. But today we're looking at some spinning, some fibre prep. So grab a brew, put your feet up and let's get started. Welcome back to any returning viewers and to any new viewers, a very warm welcome to you. I'm hoping my squeaky chair doesn't distract you too much, um, or indeed the um, work that the next door neighbour is doing. <laughs> hopefully they, uh, it's been a bit quiet at the moment, but if he does start drilling and banging again, I hopefully it doesn't come through too much. But there we go. So, um, I'm taking a little bit of time today to do some fibre prep for my next Fluff to Stuff spin, which is being run by... Hey Brownberry, uh, Babbles Travelling Yarns and Knitting Expat. Um, so obviously look at their channels and their Instagram um, and the Fluff to Stuff 2021 uh, channel and Instagram for, for more information there. Um, I don't spin on a spinning wheel partly because they're expensive and they are large. Um, I don't really have the space and the, the budget for it um, unfortunately. Although I do have a stepmother with a spinning wheel so when we are allowed I get to go and play on that from time to time. Uh, obviously not at the moment. Um, so I am going to be spinning up this fibre that I hand dyed um, using Kool-Aid um, during Vlogmas uh, a couple of years ago. Um, so it's it's a traffic lights colourway. Um, obviously the green section is in the middle so it's kind of mirrored. Um, and I'm going to be doing a fractal type spin with this. So I'm just thinking through the colour management and I'm thinking actually maybe I need to divide it in the middle and do red, orange, green, red, orange, green. Or indeed just red, orange, green once through rather than red, orange, green, green, orange, red. We'll see. Um, so I need to divide this up. Now a fractal spin, a fractal yarn if you're not aware, it's a, a colour management technique. So I'm going to need to divide the yarn, the, the fibre, um, and spin each ply sl with slightly different colour management. So I've most regularly seen this as a three ply. So you would do one ply spun end to end, which is going to be a bit of a challenge on a drop spindle, which is why I'm thinking maybe I should divide it in the middle and just do red, orange, green the ones through, or red, orange, green, red, orange, green. Um, because that might make the fibre a bit easier to manage with the drop spindle if it's a shorter length. So first ply you end to end through the colour progression. The next ply you go through the colour progression at a quicker rate. Um, so if, say your first ply is red, orange, green, your next ply is red, orange, green, red, orange, green, red, orange, green, for instance. And then your third ply, you're going through faster again. So red, orange, green, red, orange, green, red, orange, green. So that as you line them up, the colours don't quite line up. Um, so each, so you're getting progressively shorter colour repeats on each ply. And then obviously you ply them together. So I am currently wondering whether I should do a two ply to maximise yardage or a three ply. But let's have a look at the fibre and we'll go from there. Um, so as I say, it's going to be a bit of a struggle to do end to end with this um, fibre on a drop spindle because as I undo my, my chain you'll see it's uh, quite some length so I am going to have to break the, the first ply at least um, at least in half lengthwise to make it more, more manageable um, and I'm thinking this green section is going to be the place to break it so I wouldn't want to break it necessarily between the colour changes because um, that will alter the colour progression. Um, but if I just fold it in half, and you can see what I mean by the length. So this green section is really quite long. Then my orange sections and red sections are kind of half the length um, I mean they're roughly even, 
So I am thinking I split the fibre once I've done it lengthwise, about halfway down the green. But yeah, let's get fibre prepping. Obviously excuse the uh, crafty mess in the background. Um, it's my Turkish spindle, which I'm going to be spinning this fibre on. Just move that out of the way. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to... If I was spinning this on a wheel, I would just split it lengthwise um, and then go from there. But I think because I'm doing it on a spindle, I'm going to need the shorter length. So I'm going to split it in the middle and then I'm going to split it lengthwise to get my plies. Now I'm not too worried if the uh, lengths of colour aren't exactly, exactly even. Uh, there's going to be a bit of interchangeability anyway at the colour changes. But I want to make sure I've got approximately the same length of fibre in each. So I'm just finding that halfway point. Okay, hopefully most of this is going to come across on camera, but uh, okay, so that's about halfway lengthwise. I mean, obviously they're going to go get plied together correctly anyway, and. I think I'm going to go for a two ply because I think that's going to be better for yardage. So I'm just going to split this lengthwise. And put half of that to one side. And we'll split the other one half in uh, half lengthwise. If I can find the midway point. Again, I'm not too precious about getting it exactly, exactly even. It's, uh, it's going to be pretty even. So. We'll put this half to one side. Okay, so this will be my first ply. This will be the ply that I will spin end to end. And I'm going to do red, orange, green, red, orange, green. And um, hopefully I'll be able to do that without too much hassle on the drop spindle. If I can't, I think as long as I split the length in the middle of a colour rather than at the colour change, I shouldn't have too many problems. So I'm gonna nest this up. Now I wouldn't normally spin on a drop spindle this length of fibre in one go. Um, that's quite a lot to do on a drop spindle. Uh, I was going to start with the red, wasn't I? Yeah, we can start at the green, that's fine. So I will wind it from from the red into its little ball. The key thing with the fractal when you're spinning up each ply is to make sure that each ply that you spin, you do the colours in the same order. So that's my first ply. So then we're going to get our next ply and we're going to split this into to thinner lengths again And I think I'm going to split that again, so it's even thinner. So I should be able to get 
full length out of each half of the fiber so because this is thinner the colors are going to change at a different rate that's the the plan So I'm going to do this to all of this second ply and then we'll get to spinning. Okay, so some of my little nests are chunkier than others, but I quite often find that when I split fibre. So I'm just going to make sure I've got 50 grams and 50 grams roughly or at least that each ply is going to be about the same weight so that's 54 and that's 47 so they are a little uneven but I'm okay with that because by the time I've spun them up and the different thicknesses and stuff that's going to balance out roughly enough. I have a little bit of excess fibre at the end, not at the end of the world, um, when I come to ply them. So, that's all prepped and uh, let's get to spinning. Okay, so um, I'm going to spin these up on my little Turkish spindle, which I really enjoy doing. Um, if you want to see more about how to spin on a, a drop spindle or a Turkish spindle, I do have a spinning playlist with videos about how I do that. Okay, so I've opted to start spinning up the smaller bumps, the small little nests first, because they're going to be a bit easier to manage with the length um, than the beasts. Um, get me into the swing of spinning this length of fibre in one go. And obviously I will show you my progress when I do my podcast video for the end of the month, which I'll be filming in a couple of weeks. Um, and until then, obviously keep an eye out for next week's video. Um, like and subscribe down below and ding that bell to get notifications of when that goes up it will be at the weekend at some point hopefully when uh, i know that things are starting to be opening up in the uk i'll be able to get a more reliable schedule going um, and be able to tell you exactly when things are going to go up but um, it seems to be working right at the minute doing it this way and um, so yeah friday saturday sunday there'll be a new video once a month it's a podcasty video the rest of the times it's more of the sort of how i do things vloggy type videos and chats and things um, so yeah like subscribe ding the bell all that jazz down below have a little chat in the comments um, if you feel like it and I will see you soon so until then happy crafting and bye bye for now